constitution is very clear. Uh, first of all, I'll start by saying that we had Dr. Jirua who wanted to go for the third term after running uh, you know, the party for 10 years. The, 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 the provision of Article 41 states that uh, you know, a president, the president of the party, shall hold office for two terms of five years each and will not be eligible for re-election. The same thing with our Republican uh, you know, uh, constitution. It, it, it gives a president a person to want to go uh, for lack of a better term, a third term. I think that the constitution is very clear and I, I want to state here very clearly that Dr. Mumba, uh, who is now holding on, wanting to go for the third term, even after the constitution, uh, you know, is, is, uh, is stopping him, is, is barring him from continuing as president of MMD. Uh, because he has, ten, he has done his 10 years and he has done his part. So what remains is for him to be a consultant. And if he wants uh, a job, he should just go and look for a job, uh, you know, elsewhere. But for MMD, it has a constitution and we are going to fight to the end uh, until we preserve our constitution, until the constitution is respected. And you see, it, 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 it confuses people. When you have a, a president who says he's, a, he's, he's even a pastor, you know, I think that it, it is... A, a, very shameful for him uh, to be preaching about morality, to be preaching about integrity, and he's, on the other hand, is disrespecting the rules that govern the party. Uh, I think that uh, Dr. Mumba should be aware that he's not the only person who is uh, in NMD. And that is why we have seen that uh, you know, in the in the past elections, he has.